Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create curtain walls in Revit architecture. Okay, so for that what we have to do first on the right side we have to go in our project browser. So in our project browser we have here two floor plans, ground floor plan and the first floor plan. I will select here ground floor plan. Okay, after selecting ground floor plan I will come to my drawing area. So, okay, so in the middle of the screen this is our drawing area. For creating curtain walls, first we have to go on the ribbon on the top area and in the architecture tab and then to the wall. Okay, below wall option we have one arrow mark. Click on that arrow mark and select the first option wall architecture. Okay, when we select this first option in the properties palette we have got here curtain wall. Because this curtain wall I have already selected but for that you have to click on the types option and you have to drag down okay so you will get this three options of the curtain wall so in this tutorial we are going to see three different types of curtain walls but first let me select the first wall curtain wall one okay after selecting the curtain wall one now in the modify um, in the modify tool in the modify say, properties palette you have your base constraint base offset top constraint top offset and connected height same like wall properties okay so this is our modify place place wall tool in this we have uh, different options for drawing i will select line in that okay now i'll try i will draw the curtain wall okay i will draw a 36 feet uh, curtain wall here so this is the 2d view now we'll gonna see the 3d of 3d view of this wall okay for going for a 3d view select click on the view and select this uh, click on the arrow you will get three options okay so from that select default 3d view okay now this is our 3d view for the curtain wall okay now what we will do we will again go to ground floor plan and we will select for the new second type of wall so for that again go select wall architecture now click on the types and select the second type of wall exterior glazing okay after selecting this one come to the modify place wall option again i will select the line option okay now i will start uh, i will draw this one okay now this is the 2d view of second type of wall not the 3d view so this is the 3d view of our second type of wall right now for the first one we don't have grid for the second ones we have grid here okay grid means that black color lines what you are seeing now again for the third, third type what we'll do we'll go in the floor uh, floor plan and we'll select the wall architectural okay then i'll select the third type of curtain wall third type of curtain wall is our storefront i'll select the storefront wall here now i'll come to the modify place tool here i will select the line option and i will draw here okay now after this I'll go to 3D menu. So these are our three different types of walls. So this is the third type of wall what we have here. Now what is the difference between these three walls? In the first one wall is a plane. Second one wall we have grid lines. Third one wall we have in the second line if you see here these are the black lines what you are seeing this we call as grid lines. So upon that we can assign mullions. Okay. Mullion means the aluminium uh, aluminium kind of things what we have here like white color you are seeing that strip we call it as mullions in this one okay so uh, this is the third type of wall so this is the difference between first one wall second one wall and third one wall okay now how to make this first wall look like third one wall means from first how to produce it like a third wall so okay so for that I will go in the first floor fan uh, ground floor plan so these are our three walls okay i'll keep it like that only now after uh, this i will go to the 3d menu okay now to make the first wall look like third wall what we'll do i will select the uh, i'll go to ribbon in the ribbon architecture tab then i'll select here cut in grids okay and now we have to work in cut and grids and million i'll select cut and grid then you will get this three modify options all segment one segment and all except picked okay so i will show you three segment three parts also but first i'll select all segments so when i'll select this all segment so i can draw for all means i can draw for total curtain panel now i will select the second option one segment option 
now this option through this option what we can do we can draw grid lines in only one segment like you can say like this also in only one box okay with the one segment option we can draw on the one segment only now we'll select this third option all except picked when we select this option we'll get same option like to draw grid line when we draw grid line but we'll get the red line okay now we have to select the portion in which we don't want grid line okay now i have selected the two portions or two segments then i'll select the restart cut in grid now the portion which i have selected in that portion will not get cut in grids okay so these are these three options all segment one segment all except picked okay now you have to assign the grid mullions for this okay so for assigning mullion again i will go to the ribbon in in the ribbon i'll go to architecture tab and i will select this mullion option okay when i click on the mullion option we will get again three options grid line grid line segment all grid lines okay so first we'll select the grid line so in that again you will get the different sizes of the mullions different types circular l type again so many types are there okay now i'll select the first option after selecting the first of uh, first option we can draw for a full grid line okay in the second option we can select a segment and we can draw small small segment what we have we can draw for that only okay now we'll select the third option all grid lines okay so when we select this uh, all grid line option whatever how many grid lines are available we can select that one and we can draw mullions okay now our first wall now first wall is ready means it's exactly look like third wall the shape is different but it has glass mullions grids everything is there like the storefront third type of wall okay by this we complete our tutorial but if you still have any doubt you can write in the comment section do subscribe and share with your friends thank you love you all for all your support